Hello and welcome to the first video of Unforgivable Medical Scenes in TV. And TV here broadly means either movies or TV series. In today's video, we're going to be watching a scene in a British TV series called Malpractice. I'm not diving into any story about it, but then this particular scene caught me and we needed to address it. So forgive me, I am not on my scrubs because they are currently not wearable and wash some and then the others are on post. But I am a doctor, oh, forget this, I'm a doctor and I'm in my house, so let's dive into today's video. Okay, guys, need your last thing. Leave ready on three, we'll lift. One, two, three, lift. Go. This is 23 year old Edith Lewusu, found unconscious at home following an accidental opioid overdose. Is anyone with her? No, but we found needles and drug paraphernalia beside her. We gave two doses of 400 micrograms to naloxone IM and she's responding well. Thank you. Okay, Edith, darling, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Lucinda Edwards. I'm going to be looking after you, okay? Can you tell me what it is that you're taking? Can we get another dose of naloxone ready, please? We're going to have a listen to her chat, okay, love? Yes! That's the part. How she won the stethoscope. Let me briefly break everything down for you. Every other scene there is okay. The person was being brought in to the emergency unit and usually the EMT are the ones at the scene that bring the people from where they were being found to be injured or in serious illnesses to the hospital. They are trained medical personnel. What they do is that they try to stabilize the patient or keep the patient alive till the patient is being brought to the hospital and the doctors handle it from there. By the time they meet the doctors, they tell them all that happened, like a summary of what had happened, which is very important for doctors to know how to work. And that was very okay. But I'm going to play it again. I'm going to explain it. Hey, Edith, darling, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Lucinda Edwards. I'm going to be looking after you, okay? Can you tell me what is this that you're taking? Can we get another dose of naloxone ready, please? We're going to have a listen to the chat. Yes. Did you see it? Did you see how she wore the stethoscope? I paused it for you guys. So, let's talk about stethoscope in today's video now, the stethoscope is a medical device we use this is a doctor's gadget it is one of the most indispensable gadgets a doctor and we use the stethoscope for many functions or mostly to listen to the patient's chest or heartbeats or listen to the lungs and there are other functions of the stethoscope however these are the major things we use it for and the stethoscope is divided broadly into the chest piece, the tube that connects the chest piece, and then the air piece. This broadly the air piece. And the chest piece is made up of two parts: the diaphragm, which is the wider one, and the bell. The one I'm currently using does not have the bell because this diaphragm serves two purposes at the same time. But let me get another stethoscope that might have it. Great. This one does. So if you notice. The chest piece has two surfaces. This is the diaphragm, which is usually wider, and the bell. So they are placed on the patient's body part, depending on which body part you are interested in to listen to some particular sounds. So the diaphragm is being used to listen to high pitch sounds, and then the bell is used to listen to low pitch sound. There's a part called the stem. This is the stem. It firmly attaches the tube to the chest piece and you could twist it. It depends on which part you want to make the different parts or the different surface louder. How we usually know which is which is we place the earpiece in our ear. It's very loud, it magnifies sound for you. So we tap it gently to know which part is actually on. Let me use the word on. That's enough. Let me not be too technical because I'm sure that a lot of you that are watching this video are not medical doctors. So let me not bore you too much. However, the problem with this movie scene was how she wore the earpiece. And this is the earpiece. There is a correct way to wear the stethoscope when you're using it. Every health personnel knows how this is being worn. There's no real doctor that is well trained that's going to wear the stethoscope like that. Usually, if you notice, the earpiece is pointing forward and inward look at it look at it forward and inward and that corresponds to the anatomy of the ear the ear moves from the outer part to the inner part in a forward and inward manner so if you place it like this 
goes directly to follow the anatomy of the ear which is very good if you put it the other way around which she did put it like this you are not going to hear anything at all so every doctor and every health worker knows that that is not the correct way to wear the earpiece it is unforgivable if you wear your stethoscope like this and continue because in all fairness there are some times that you might not notice careful doctors what we do is that as we pick up the stethoscope we look at the orientation and make sure that it's like this forward and inward because it could also be like this which is not okay so you put it it should be forward and inward and then you put it in your ear sometimes you might be busy or your attention is divided and you can just pick the stethoscope randomly if you put it the wrong way you would know because of how it's going to sit in your ears so that is the unforgivable sin that this particular beautiful medical drama failed to correct or notice at all for people that want to ask me this so this is one tip i'm giving you if you want to make your medical sense as realistic as possible especially when wearing the stethoscope so that's all for today's video i hope you learned something from it don't forget that when you want to wear the earpiece make sure that your orientation should be full inward and you put it in your ears listen if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with as many people as possible and i am sure to be doing more of such videos to help correct some of the wrong scenes in medical shows and medical movies generally if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe and turn on the notification thank you and i'm going to see you in my next video bye